A long time ago, when animals could speak, there was a rabbit called Jistu. Now, Jistu was a boasting rabbit. He was a lazy rabbit. He was a rabbit that thought he was better than all the other animals. And he had this long, luxurious, fluffy tail. And the tail was more fluffy than Chula's tail. Chula is the fox. And Chula was upset because every day, Jistu would come over and say, look how long and beautiful my tail is. It's much better than your tail. So Chula said, I'm going to give you back. So Chula had to wait, though. He waited and waited, and he waited until it got colder and colder and colder, to the point where the lakes froze over, and the rivers froze over, and then he sprung his trap. So he went down, and he went, and he grabbed four fish, and went down to the lake, and he dug a hole in the ice in the lake, and tied those four fish to his tail, and then waited for Jisu to come, because he knew that Jisu was going to come, because Jisu always comes every day and brags about his tail. <laughs> so, on he's hopping along, and he sees Chula, and Chula's in the middle of the lake, but of course he has to go over and talk to Ju uh, Chula, so. He hops over to Jula, and before um, Jistu gets to the lake, he quickly puts his tail in that hole. And so Jistu hops over and said, What are you doing, Jula? And Jula said, Why, well, I'm fishing. Fishing with your tail? Yes, fishing with my tail. It's the very best way to fish. And, and uh, Jistu said, No. That cannot be. Let me see. So Chula pulls his tail up, and there are four fish there hanging off his tail. He said, oh, good. By the end of the week, I'll have enough fish so that I can trade them for that tail comb, that set of tail combs in the village. They only have one set. And since I have the most luxurious, beautiful tail, they're going to be mine, and I'm going to be combing them all day. And so, Jistu, being a boastful, bragful, egotistical rabbit, thought to his head, I deserve those cones because I have the best tail. And so, Chula said, well, I'm getting really tired and it's getting cold. I think I'm going to go back and I should have enough fish by the end of the week. So he goes off and Jistu thought to himself, how am I going to get those combs? I know. I'll fish all night long. I'll get enough fish in one night to be able to get those combs. And so, he, even though it's cold, he puts his tail down into the water and he starts fishing with his tail all night long. All night long. Well, in the morning, Chula wanted to see what was going on, so he went down to the lake and he's seen Jistu sitting there, and then he said, Jistu, what are you doing? And Jistu said, well, I've been fishing all night long, and I'm going to be getting that home before you. And so he said, well, let me see what you've got. And so Jistu pulls up, pulls up, <laughs> pulls up. <laughs> I'm st st stuck. And so Chula said, well, Good luck with that. They started walking away. <laughs> and so Jitsu says, Say la, say la, which means help me, help me in Cherokee. And so Jitsu, uh, Chula said, Oh, I think I'll help you. So he walks over, walks behind Jitsu, grabs a hold of him, he gives a big yank, and he flies all the way across the other side of the lake. And he was free which was a good thing and a bad thing. It was a good thing because he was a free. He was free. It was bad because in that hole was Jistu's tail. And from that day until now, that's why rabbits have short, short little tails. <laughs> mm.